It's time for a change. Hey everyone, it's Anun from underdogstrength.com where we talk about all things strength training. But in this video, we're gonna talk about a different type of strength training. So hear me out, okay? Today I wanna share with you something that I personally am very insecure about and that is my own hairline. Now, it's no secret that I have a very bad receding hairline and I know it doesn't look that bad right now, especially when I'm looking straight at the camera. But if, if I was to show you, it's actually quite, quite bad actually. It's, I have a very bad receding hairline. And to be honest, you know, I've had this hairline for almost a decade now. So I'm 28 years old right now. And I first started noticing this when I was about 19 or 20 years old. And this first started when I started my weight loss journey. And if you already are a subscriber to my channel, you already know my story where I've lost over 125 pounds. You know, I used to weigh well over 275 pounds as a teenager. And then eventually I lost uh, weight until I was about 150 pounds at my leanest. So I first started to notice my receding hairline when I started to lose weight. And when I went online and looked, I saw that a lot of people actually lose their hair when losing weight, especially if it's like an extreme weight loss. And my hope was, you know, once I stopped losing that weight, their hair would eventually come back, but it never did. And now that I look at it, most of the people in my family also have a receding hairline. So there's definitely that genetic component to it, but I definitely feel that my weight loss has accelerated that process quite a bit. Now, fortunately, my hair is pretty thick all around. It's still pretty good, except for in the front right here. And to be honest, you know, it really bothers me and it's been bothering me for a really long time. Now, let me ask you this. If you came across a person who was really insecure all the time and always thought about what other people think, would you really consider this person to be a strong person? And in, in my opinion and in my own pursuit of strength, uh, to me, that person is not a strong person, even if that person is physically strong. So my goal with this channel is not only to focus on physical strength, but also mental strength. And if my goal in life is to be the strongest version of myself, then I can't let these things, something as trivial as hair or appearance or what other people think of me, affect my day to day life. In fact, I knew I was going to make this video today and I couldn't even sleep last night. So I have a lot of anxiety in general around this topic. So when should you buzz your head? I think that it's when it starts to negatively affect your life. When you start having these attachments to things that are outside your control, it can only lead to suffering. In fact, there's a quote in Buddhism that says, attachment is the root of all suffering. And if you're a Star Wars fan like I am, you probably remember the quote by Yoda that goes by, attachment leads to jealousy, the shadow of greed that is. Train yourself to let go of everything you fear to lose. And if you look at the statistics, one in four men will actually suffer from some degree of hair loss in their 20s. So it's not uncommon at all. And even some of the most successful people in the world suffer from some sort of hair loss, whether it's looking at athletes like Michael Jordan or action stars like The Rock, Bruce Willis, Jason Statham, Vin Diesel, or even if you look at the richest man in the world, Jeff Bezos, he's also suffering from hair loss. So it's not uncommon at all. And I don't think that this is gonna hold you back in any way. This has really affected me personally in terms of my social life, my confidence levels, and it's simply no way to live. And my goal today is to simply get over that fear and insecurity that I've had for so many years. And then if I don't like it, then I can always go back. So when should you buzz your hair? Well, I can only speak for myself. And for me, the time is now. All right guys, so here it goes. In case you're wondering, the clippers that I'm gonna use are the, it's made by Wall, and this is simply the Color Pro. And if, if you wanna check it out, it's very popular on Amazon, and I'll uh, leave a link down in the description below. And to finish it off, if needed, I'm also gonna be using this, which is the Philips Norelco. It's meant for facial hair, like beard and stuff, but I, I found that this actually cuts much closer than this, so. Let's see how this goes, you know, there's no turning back now, right? All right, here it goes.
You know, I could rock a mohawk like this. What do you think? Not bad, huh? Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of the one now. Not bad, it feels pretty good actually. Uh, now I'm gonna try with the Phillips Norelco because I think it, I can get a little bit closer shave with this. So there you have it, you know, not bad, you know, I, was, I think it looks better than I expected, you know, not bad, not bad at all. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with the beard, maybe I'll keep it, I'm not sure. So there you have it guys, I think it looks pretty cool actually, it's like nice and clean, you know, uh, but if you ever wanted to try something like this then i highly recommend that you give it a try at least and see how it feels if you don't like it then you can always grow it all back i even trimmed my beard a little bit to to match the top you know so i don't know i still don't know if i want to grow out my beard again but if you have any suggestions then make sure to comment down below thank you so much for watching and stay strong